What is going on guys? It's me again Vince with another video and today I'm right here in front of my truck and I'm finally finally gonna install these headlights. Yes, so th these headlights are from a company called Anza USA. These are not the Tacoma Beast ones. I wish I had those, but this will do. Um, so I've had this for a while, but it's just that I've still been debating for uh, for a while uh, if I should put them or not, because I don't know if you guys remember, I did something to my headlight that I still like, um, which are the DRL and the amber light is or actually the marker light and the DRL are lit up together but um yeah so I still like those uh, it's just that I really like the daytime running light on this ones like the how it looks like the longer light here so I've decided to just put them on see if I like it over time or not if anything I can just put this back um, but yeah so I'm just gonna go ahead and try this one out and hopefully I like it <laughs> you know but so um, you know we'll see how it goes but anyways so I'm just gonna show you guys how to install the headlights and um, we'll take you to the process so before we move on, I just want to ask a big favor from everybody and that is by liking and subscribing to this channel. That way you get notified for future videos and you're helping the channel grow as well. So enough said, let's just dive right in. So the first thing that you want to do is just remove the grill. That way you'd have a better access to the back part of the headlights. So now that the grill is removed, you just want to take this tab right here and this one right here as well most of the people are saying for you to remove the tabs here 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 and here but I'm gonna try not to remove them because I have this bracket here installed already and I don't want to touch that so hopefully I don't have to remove that and hopefully it works that way it's easier for me so ideally if you still have the uh, OEM bumpers, what you would want to do is remove some screws and tabs here. That way you'll gain access to the back part of the fender. But since I changed my bumper already, I only have one screw here that's uh, holding up the fender flares. So what I'm going to do is just remove that. And um, basically the idea is to remove the fender flares so that you'll gain access to this part right here. Um, behind this is a 10 millimeter uh, screw that you just have to remove that way the headlight will come loose after removing this one and this one as well so all right now that you have the headlight removed make sure uh, that to remember all of the connectors that way it would be easier for you to just reconnect them with the new headlight so these headlights come with a regular HID for the low beam and the high beam. So what I did was I actually purchased this LED that would fit on the housing of this one. Mind you, the housing for the low beam is pretty tight. So you need to get uh, an LED that would actually fit in that housing. So I was able to get this one. I'm going to put the link in the description down below in case you wanted to replace your light bulb for this kind of headlight. So when you flip the headlight over, you're gonna notice this one right here is gonna be for the low beam. So all you have to do is just twist it and you're gonna be able to open it really quick. So as you can see, the housing of the low beam is really tight in there. All you have to do is just remove those Phillips um, screw and replace that all right guys so the driver's side is done as you can see it just looks way better so I'm gonna show you guys a comparison between this one and the stock one see a lot of chrome which I don't like see this one's all blacked out I noticed there is chrome in there but it's just a little bit so it's okay 
but overall I do like it a lot so I'm gonna show you guys later a night shot or a night video and show you guys the daytime running light how it looks and I'm just gonna go ahead and finish the passenger side alright guys so it's all done as you can see it's just way better than the stock one it's all blacked out compared to the stock that has a lot of chrome and the daytime running light is just longer so there you go I'm gonna show you guys later a night shot just to show how bright the daytime running lights are and I'm also gonna show you guys the LED that uh, that I changed the uh, low beams with all right here we are guys so I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this on and try to see a night shot of it so there it is it's brighter in person to be honest and I just like how the daytime running light looks I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the marker and on the other side alright I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the headlight so this headlight actually came with an HID and as I've mentioned earlier, I went ahead and changed it to an LED light bulb. And as you can see, it's just way brighter. There you go. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. And please don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.